welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Graded Rule Use versus Trash. So in this video, we're going to grade this rule for Yu-Gi-Oh! Ability. Well, with that being said, let's get off with the rest of the video. Okay, so announcer, can you explain to us the speed world? Uh, now for those of you joining us for the first time, let's review the rules of engagement. Once Speed World has been activated, the only spells a duelist can use are speed spells. Normal spells now take a back seat to the action. Additionally, a rider's strength is now governed by the duelist's speed counter. The more speed a duelist has, the stronger the move they can make. Okay, and now that you've explained that, let's go to the next slide to see the grading system. So, so far the grading system is going to be at 10 out of 10 and it's going to remain there for the time being until we see until we see some mistakes in this duel and then it'll go down a bit. Okay with that being said, let's start the duel. Surprise! Come on you say, do you really think you can escape from me again? I'll never stop chasing you, don't you get that? Are you serious? You need to get a life as soon as possible. Let's ride! Time to kick ass. Let's get this duel started. I draw, and I summon Quillbolt Hedgehog in defense mode. Okay, and we're seeing here that Yusei has normal summoned in defense mode. Get ready, Yusei. I draw, and I summon Search Striker in attack mode. Search Striker. Blast that satellite's puny little monster! Huh? Next, I place one card face down. Now what, you say? You're about to find out. From my hand, I summon the tuner monster, Junk Synchron! And since I successfully summoned Junk Synchron, I can also summon Quillbolt Hedgehog back to the field in defense position. What? Sorry, Trudge, but this Hedgehog's not done with you. Before it makes a move, though, Junk Synchron's gonna give it a little tune-up. Too bad he can't stick around. See, I'm playing the trap card, Discord Counter. Discord Counter is a trap card that undoes an opponent's synchro summon and returns both original monsters to the field in defense position. Looks to me like your junk warrior's about to break into pieces. I hope you like those two, cause you're stuck with them for a while. Discord counter stops you from summoning a monster until the end phase of your next turn. Restriction is stronger than prevention. Well, this'll get you talking. <laughs> I summon Pursuit Chaser in attack mode. And now that I've got these two monsters on my field, your Quillbolt and Junk Synchron are about to get blasted back to the scrap heap. Fire! Now here's the best part. Since the monster Pursuit Chaser was destroyed in defense position, you get hit with 500 points of direct damage. <laughs> and with that, I slap one card face down and end my turn. Make your move. All right then. I place one card face down and end my turn. Because with five speed counters, I can now play the speed spell, Rapid Shotwing! And for each speed counter I have, my striker gets 100 attack points. Here goes! And that means that with my monster all amped up, I can finally get a little payback for when you ditched me in that trash tube back in the satellite. That's right, you see. You may have escaped from me in our last duel, but the power of my beasts are gonna have you back in the facility before you can make it to the bottom floor! Search Striker, take out his life points! <laughs> Look 
looks like you're just hanging on. Now, Pursuit Chaser! End this! Oh. Uh, I play my face down! Confusion Chaff! Come back! Oh, he will. See, my trap canceled his attack. But guess what? He gets to fight again. Only this time it's against your own monster, Search Striker. Just watch. Striker, I'm gonna get you for that, you say. Just you wait. Here we go! Time to rev it up! I summon Speed Warrior in attack mode! Now check this out, officer! My warrior's attack points are double! Ha! What a waste, you say! I activate my trap card! Power mine! No, Speed Warrior can't attack until next turn! And until then, his attack points are zero! Kinda like your chances of getting out of this duel! That really hits where it hurts! If you think it's bad now, wait until I play this! Reactor Pod! A speed spell? <sighs> and not just any speed spell! This one makes you take damage for Speed Warrior's original attack points! <sighs> what else you got? Or is that all for now? I'm just gonna play a face down, Trudge. About time. Now I draw. And don't forget, Punk. Speed Warrior's got zero attack points. Which means he should be easy pickings. Search Striker, attack! <laughs> Not so fast. I play my trap. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Sorry, Trudge. Not only is your attack canceled, but I get to place my Scarecrow face down again. You'll have to try harder than that. Is this what you had in mind? I play Final Countdown! And this card's all about giving something to get something. The more face down cards I send to the graveyard, the more life points you lose. 500 for one, 1500 for three, and 3000 for four. And last I checked, you have 1400 life points. So by sending three face downs to my grave, you lose the duel and I win. I got one face down out there already. And come next turn, I'm going to throw down two more and make three. And after that, you say, it's game over, satellite. You got one turn left. Make it count. You don't get to play. You just lose. Oh, no. Just watch. Listen up, Speed Warrior. It's time for some defense. And next, I'm summoning out Healing Wave Generator to help generate a little... Okay, and we're seeing here that Yusei has no more summoned in defense mode. Okay, this is a bit unusual. We have the same fault again with Yusei as he's normal summoned another monster in defense mode. This is a serious problem here and we're going to have to take away another two points, meaning that now the realisticness of this duel is coming at six out of ten. This is abysmal. This is not good. We're having the same mistake being repeated time and time again here. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie me. I play two face downs and end my turn. All right, then, my move. And I summon the tuner monster, Tora Punt. And now I tune my Tora Punt and my Search Striker in order to synchro summon Goyo Guardian. Now take out that healing wave generator. Don't you learn? I can still play my Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Huh? Oh no you can't! See with Torapart in my graveyard, you can trigger your trap this round! So it looks like Scrap Iron Scarecrow scaring nothing away! And now my Goyo Guardian's taking control of your healing wave generator! So with your generator on my side of the field, not only can I use its strength to fortify my defenses, but your own monster's gonna win this for me, satellite! Cause now I get a power surge! 
to the tune of 100 life points for each level of monster I pick. And by choosing my guardian, I gain 600 more life points. I'm almost back to full power. Ha <laughs> You say there's nothing better than outsmarting a smart aleck. <laughs> and don't think I forgot about Final Countdown. So with this face down, you're one card away from losing. It's my move. And I summon Turbo Synchron! And the bonus of having a tuner monster out there is that Quillbolt Headshot comes back from the graveyard! I think it's about time we take this battle to the next level! Now Turbo Synchron, take out his healing wave generator! What? He doesn't stand a chance against that monster! What are all those diesel fumes choking all your brain cells? You're gonna lose this one, satellite! <laughs> Told ya! And now you're down to a hundred life points! Nice knowing ya! Why? You planning on going somewhere? Or did you forget that when Turbo Synchron attacks, even if he loses, I can summon another monster! And I got just the one in mind! I didn't use her in our last match in the pipeline! Sonic Chick, say hello! Next I play my trap card! Urgent Tuning! Urgent Tuning is a trap card that allows you to release the required monsters on your field in order to synchro summon during the battle phase. So now by combining all the monsters on my field, I can use their bomb to bring about a beast that will end this duel. I enjoyed my time at the facility, but this synchro summon is gonna make sure I don't go back. Oh man, Arrow played a similar combo in our first tag team championship match. You say, you sure you can handle a move like this? Go do it! Sorry, Trudge. Now I tune my Turbo Synchron with my Quillbolt Headshot, Speed Warrior, and Sonic Chick to Synchro Summon Turbo Warrior! What a move! Now Turbo Warrior, take out that Goyo Guardian! <laughs> Still can't add, can you, you say? Perhaps you can take Remedial Mass back at the facility. Maybe then you'll learn. Well, let me teach you something first. Like what my warrior can do. It cuts your guardian's attack points right in half. Say goodbye. What? You say you got him on the ropes. Big deal. Even with half its strength gone, I can still survive. But next round, you're out of time, because I'm activating my countdown's effect. Hmm. Next round? There is no next round, Trudge. I play Synchro Strike, which gives 500 more attack points to my Turbo Warrior for every monster I use to Synchro Summon it. No! And if my math is right, that adds up to your defeat. How can this be? With that kind of power, I can't stop that warrior from wiping out all of my life points! Now, Turbo Warrior, finish the job! <laughs> Okay, and so for the first, uh, you know, two duels that you say had with Trudge, it was fairly realistic, and we can grade that as an eight out of ten. Final grade assessment for those two duels is not much fault quite a realistic duel. However, when we come to this late, uh, latest duel, this third and final duel, we have some serious problems and it's uh, overall grading of 6 out of 10. Our final grade assessment is serious faults, lots needs to be questioned. Indeed, there's a lot of things that need to be questioned in this duel. Why is the same uh, mistake being repeated uh, multiple times? Do uh, uh, questioning whether these, uh, you know, you say really knows his dueling, uh, you know, rule rule set. There's a lot of things here that we needed uh, that need to be questioned, need to be discussed. But anyways, overall, it's an abysmal duel. Um, very, very, it's just average. So no good there. You say really there, just pulling some some stuff which is not legal. But anyways, that's how it goes. Tune in next time where we will talk about other duels and 
other things that we're going to grade for Yu-Gi-Oh! Realism. Realism. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.